If you really want all the bread and stop looking for options. Alright, nice. 18. We need to get someone to 19. That's what we're gonna need to do soon. Um yeah. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Um But what else do I got going on? I was gonna tell you guys something. Hmm, do I wanna tell you guys? Should I tell you guys? You guys deserve to know. Okay, I'll tell you guys anyway. Um, like I said, I am bringing back the Crimson Room. I have already uh, guests for this month. I think. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten all the guests for this month booked. Um, the first guest, well, I'm gonna hit them up after stream to uh, record a promo, and you guys will be able to see who I'm talking about. Um, the other ones will be the weekends after. So. I'm excited for that. Um, evil touch, obtain money. What do I want? Um, nah, let's get the Unigami. Not mess up the timeline. Ooh, level 19, nice. Okay. That certainly went well. We're getting everybody leveled up. That's good. Ooh. Where's that? Where's that? Eh. Yeah, we're opening it back up again. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, we're opening it back up. I'm excited. Um, I already got my first guests lined up. I can't wait to do it. Um, I'm going to do more topic based questions based off the individual. That way I don't keep recycling through the same questions. I can very much pertain it to that personality and allow it to kind of flourish like that. I think that's the best way to make them. Um, make any type of uh, collab is allowing the best aspects of your partner to like flourish with um, with that you know which I'm gonna do we don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not damn that straight up. chest got a key on it Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Ooh, what's this the crimson room is a podcast slash talk show in which um, I interview uh, VTubers, PNG tubers, um, 3D model, VTuber, whatever, whatever your um, model is, and um, you know we have a fun conversation. Um, I tailor the questions and topics of questions towards that personality. And you know, it allows one me to get better to know another uh, creator, and at the same time too, it allows me to like be able to have a video and have a vod and kind of sh have it been shown to people. Um, I've had a similar. I did twelve or twelve episodes. Did I do eight episodes? I did twelve episodes, like two years ago, and I'm bringing it back because I actually am. I really like doing that kind of content. It's fun for me. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't really like news media content. And, you know, it's something I learned. I think having a conversation now is so, it's not rare, but it's almost people are like, so our, is our collab just gonna be us talking? Like a lot of people kind of like, what are we gonna play? What are we gonna do? And I think um, a lot of people tend to not like, or they, they think they don't need to like play video games to do a collab. Sometimes you can just talk and just shoot the shit. And the thing is, I think with a video game, it, it helps the distraction because you can kind of like, oh, oh, like we're just playing video games and we can like, there's there's something, there's content in front of us that we can kind of make both comments on. Well, with the talk show kind of podcast, the questions are kind of what are forced to bring out people out of their shell. You're kind of, they really have to engage. And I think that's like the... That the purpose I have it is I can make it engaging. I can make it fun. I don't feel like it has to be a chore. We're like, oh, here we go, doing another one. I can very much just get in the personalities of people I don't know, and like play off each other, and that can be the collab. Because it doesn't need to be anything grandiose. We don't need to play a game and try to be it together. I think a simple conversation goes a long ways, and it, it helps people come out of their shell. Because now you, um, one, it allows people to kind of see the 
the human behind the VTuber allows people to feel like they can connect with you in a certain way or feel like now they can approach you or talk to you, which will hopefully lead to more collabs with others in the distant future. And that, that's kind of where I'm using it for. Um, it's it just overall um, helps, I think, um, really show that the content yeah, like doesn't need to be um, grandiose. You don't need to play a fucking Elven Ring and uh, beat it together to um, have a decent collab. You guys can literally just be um, on a fucking couch talking and shooting this shit with somebody for like an hour and a half, maybe two, and just go, well, you know what? Hey, that was pretty fun. Um, I actually enjoy that kind of collab. It's kind of what we're going for. I wanted to check something real quick. Um, I feel like I should be promoting it. I think I have it on YouTube. Um, let me just put my YouTube link real quick. Um, the YouTube link is there for those who are curious on seeing the old episodes. Um, I will, I'm not opposed to having returning guests. In fact, one of the guests that's going to be this Sunday is a returning or said Sunday. Yeah. Sunday is a returning guest. So, they watch out for that uh, and then we also have a discord put that in there too and the tiktok i might as well just promote i don't really do it much but i feel like i should start doing it more how to be more content cautious content content cautious content awareness i don't know i don't know the terms for these things but yeah Yes, give me the fucking wands. Give me these fucking. I love that the wands. My wand. The wands are like the go-to, like item to get to help me, like get um everything I want. Yes, let's open it. And the charm. Okay. We hit first. We are him. He hit first. Goddamn. Alright, please, for the love of God. Alright, we're good. We need wind. Yeah, we should be good now but yeah i fucking love it i love the idea of it um it allows me to like vibe out with people i think i think i have a very reactive personality um so like being able to like feed off of someone's energy and just kind of um match their crazy with my crazy or not force them to match their crazy with mine but like kind of you know gear them up for that works out well light charm we lost the frost charm and the frost charm was low-key goaded for us damn the stairs. all right we're good though we're good on, all right people. let's keep going we're not too bad on health Is that treasure? oh my balls itch i hate nope. it Zy Zyonga gem, nice. We got the shit. We got, it. we got the shit going. Now we get to keep going. Uh 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 uh. This weekend is my grandfather-in-law's birthday. It's gonna be fun on Saturday. Um. Shit. Fuck. What the hell? These fucking guys are just beating us up like we're chump change. me off oh god i hate mudo mudo makes me so nervous mudo's like the instant kills always make me nervous i'm always like dude should i, need, should I have a fucking homunculus please hit yes we did it 
mission accomplished, kind of, sort of, maybe. Baby, baby. Give me the ones. Like today's Friday, I don't know why. Today we're doing a tier stream as well. Um, I guess I should put my Twitter. I gotta add Blue Sky on this too eventually. Um, we're doing a thing on Twitter where um, you put your PNG in the thing, and I guess you're, uh, you know, I put you in a D and D class. We're doing a D and D tier list stream with VTubers where. I'm ranking, I'm oh, not ranking them, but I'm putting their classes in them. So that's going to be fun to do. I got a couple of them, not a lot, but hey, it gives me something to do on a Friday stream. Uh, so I can like really get into depth. <gasps> Yay, counter worked. It uh, gives me the chance to really get into it. Um, it's I'm excited because uh, I love D&D, &D, bro. I'm a big D&D &D nerd. Fucking love it. Um, every class, every race, every race is just so fun. I love the the ability to pl like to want to play as as much different races as possible in, in Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I don't have a favorite race though. Every race, I have one. I've only played probably two races really. I played Barbarian and I played Fighter. Um, I definitely would love to play Sorcerer. I would love to play Warlock. I would love to play, um... What would I love to play? Um, Wizard maybe is like the last thing I want to play. Um, no, no offense to Wizards. I just, you know, I want to play like other, like the... I don't know, I'm not... I, I like martial classes a lot. Like, I'd love to play like Monk and... Especially now that Monk has gotten a little bit... A little bit of a touch up with uh, the new player's handbook. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do Jurid. I would like to do Jurid. It would be cool. Um, cleric would be an interesting one. I've never been the healer type, but I would. I, I would. Oh, did we get him? We got him first, right? I would like to be a cleric one time just to see how that that plays out. But I also like multi-classing too, like you can make the weirdest combinations of peoples. And multi-classing, is, it, it seems like it's a lot easier now than prior um, additions. Yeah, I'm cool, I'm still cool. I'm wrapped in my blinkies. I'm wrapped in my blinkie. Still a child at heart. I'm a big, I'm a big child at heart. I'm a big kid, I'm just like a fucking overgrown child. Uh, Snuff Soul, Secunda. Does he just get points? Yes, give me the points. So we got Orpheus to level 8. 5e definitely makes 4, uh, make, makes 4s multi-classing very straightforward. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, it's not as convoluted as you need to keep track of this points and this points and that points. You need to keep track of that. It's more like, oh, so you're multi-classing. Well, you got this. And you're like, oh, that's fun. Like, I don't know. What would I want to be? It's just the possibilities are endless. I love that the possibilities are endless. That makes me happy. Hmm. Sorry about that. I was looking at my dog to make sure he was okay in the crate. Um. Uh, yeah, five E. Fucking love it. I love that almost anything can be translated into five E. Hey, bitch, come over here. Ant. Fuck. I think one that, so I laugh because um I, I I picked this out and a lot of people like laugh because they're like wait how do you know that so I don't if, if anyone has seen Stranger Things 
Uh, and then the latest season, um, they play Dungeons and Dragons, and they're doing, I believe, it is the not the curse. Is it the Curse of Vecna? I can't remember. But what, what's funny about that whole campaign that he's that um, Eddie's running is. Vecna wasn't a character. No, Vecna the whole wasn't a character quite yet. Um, so like the the theory in the Reddit community that I saw was, um, Eddie homebrewed the that Vecna because at that time Vecna was was yes killed by Cass, um, by the with the the sword of Cass, which also Cass a fucking dope ass character. Um, oh, I'm DD nerding out. So, Cass is a vampire, uh, right hand man of Vecna. Vecna is, uh, I believe he was an, a half elf wizard who, uh, became a lich to arch lich, um, to, um, demigod to god. Um, he was fucking, he's really overpowerful. But, um, just, oh, god. I love I love it. I love the It's just such a good story. But um yeah, Vecna is pretty damn powerful. Um but he wasn't out yet. He wasn't a character yet. That's what I was referring to Stranger Things. He wasn't fully a character yet. Like style wise. There was no stat block for him, there was nothing. It wasn't until I believe another module where he is um, introduced. Didn't come out till like a year or two later. So like that was fun. Oh shit! Damn, mistouched. Um, we might just we're close to the end here. At least for me, I'm like in my two hour stride where I normally end the stream we're, we're gonna watch our health that's right block that fire all right we're gonna end the stream in a sec we're just gonna go through this dungeon real quick and then next time we can just straight um or just straight run through the dungeon and grind since we have a whole week before uh we hit the hmm a whole week before we hit the moon the full moon that's what I was trying to say I was distracted by the game like ADHD brain is like hitting me we win this battle and then we can try to find the, the thing nice all right we did it right, let's blow this popsicle stand give me this shit Away. All right, you're good, you're good. We're about to leave anyways. Uh, All right, fuck. All right, hold on. All right, locked. We're definitely gonna rush through this guy or try to rush through the guy We're gonna try to rush this guy and then go down and then we'll save the game and then we can end the stream and we'll raid somebody and bother somebody with our friendship 
like Andy from the office says, I'm sorry, my f I bothered you with my friendship. And then I can like cuddle in bed and be nice and warm. Hit him with the, the one, two, the wind. And, and cut him. We were like trying our hardest to fuck this guy up. <laughs> the the fucking lions like tanky. Shit. Love my female cat. She's so pretty. They should do it. No, oh, we're close. Ooh. Makua, hell yeah. Hit him with the blinding light. Yes, all right, now let's find the little teleporter. Looking. All right, where's the teleporter at? We're gonna go. I don't know how to leave. Is there any? No, there's not. Let's just keep going up until we find it. I don't know where it's at though. Oh, perfect. Teleporter right here. That's what I was looking for. Oh, when we reached the first, the 42nd floor. It was destiny, I guess. It was destiny that told us to do it. All right, let me just go to the velvet room real quick and then we can in the game here. I just want to check some shit out. That's just what I want to do. Oh, God, I'm getting nice and chills. I'm going to probably snack on something. Maybe make myself some chicken. Yes, what's up? I'm trying to free some personas, girl. Um, register. Yeah, hell yeah. Registered. Registering. Is overriding acceptable? All registered. Fusion. Are you in search of new power? Which will you choose? This persona, yes? Yeah. Is this acceptable? What do you wish to inherit? Dodge slash. It seems you have been blessed. With some power. Hell yeah, give me the power. I want all of it. That's right, boy. Give me the power. I want all the power. Even though I'm pretty sure I only put like two, two beats in this. Give me it. Level 15, auto assault drive. Um It is a special persona you desire, is it not? This would be a wise choice. Alright, I think we're good. I thought there was gonna be a thing where I can um like juice him up with like whatever we have so far, but that's fine. We can make another magician persona and make them pretty OP, I guess. All right. Let us save the game. And let's go raid somebody, guys. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. I like to um, end on a positive note, you know? It makes me happy. So... That's exactly what we're going to do. I will see you guys on Friday where we do the tier stream, uh, sorting people and D and D classes. And we might do something else too. If, uh, that doesn't go for like an hour or two. 
thank you all so much for hanging out with me you all been wonderful shout out to you raiden haruku Har hakuryu for the raid and coming in and chiming in here and there to give me some hints about the game i highly highly appreciate that you is the real one um with that being said we're gonna go uh share the joy and raid somebody so stay tuned